Okay. Um, hello, guys. My name is Denise Agathoglose, or Dionysia Agathoglose. And today I'm going to talk about Docker. Okay, what is this? What is Docker? So I'm going to talk about why I decided to do Docker and why it's good to know about Docker. Okay, let's go through that. So what is Docker? Um, an official terminology of that that I found in the docs, it, it's a software container platform. The key here is container. So everything works in containers. You can have different process working in different containers. One of the most uh, popular thing I would say for the developers is having uh, different microservices working in different containers. But there are different uses of uh, using uh, Docker. Uh, today I'm going to show you like a small example of uh, how, what we know so far. Uh, so here it's a, like a definition of what containers are. Um, and also one thing that it's worth mentioning is that containers, um, it's, it saves us a lot of trouble of um, using virtual machines. And I can show you later what is the difference between the Docker and the virtual machine. Um, but do, like Docker provides a lot of advantages, like it's very lightweight, and I will show you the why it's lightweight. And um, yeah, it's okay. So here, here it's like an it's a picture uh, taken from the official um, dogs, and we have the store. The store is like Docker has a store and it has different metadata, different images. So you can pick up an image that is only for Postgres an image that is only for Node. And the reason that it's so lightweight, it's one container, it doesn't have any other than just one technology, one, um, one technology being installed in there. It doesn't have to deal with an operating system. And we can see here the difference. I think here, this is a, a bit more explanatory and you can understand. Um, so the virtual machine, it has a hypervisor and an operating system. And to set that up, it's, it might take you a whole big day to have your machine working, but the Docker, instead of having a hypervisor and an operating system, it has an engine and the different apps working on top of that. Um, here you can see a better idea why it's so uh, fast and small in size. Uh, like the virtual machine here, like maybe it's a bit exaggerating, but it's the size of an elephant and here it's like the size of a, of a mouse. But yeah. <laughs> so here it's like a high level of how Docker works. Uh, first of all, we have our host machine. Our host machine is our laptop. And, and then we have just just a plain uh, text file. That text file is called the Docker file, and it's basically like um, like a configuration file that you can install step by step the the configurations you want in that container. And I will show you an example later on what it, how a Docker file is, or yeah, how to set it up. Um, then once. Once you create your Docker file here um, and you build it, then you can have a, a, a container running or, or you, you building like an image with what you define inside the Docker, Docker, Docker file. Um, then you have to run what you build. But I will, you understand a lot better once you see the demo. Uh, the registry is a different name of the store, and it's kind of like hit back, uh, GitHub because you can push, you can pull, and you can uh, retrieve di different kind of image from there. So demo time. So today I'm going to show you something that maybe most of you worked, um, and it's puppies. It's our favorite puppies. Um, 
So we had a workshop in, uh, as part of our uh, Checkpoint Senior to do the, an Express app with Redux and uh, React. So I took that and I, I added a bit more functionality on liking every puppy. Um, but th that, it, it's not persistent, there is no database. And uh, we can see here in our server, um, and apologies, I have to check out to different branch to see how it is. Cool. So if we go ahead, this is without Docker, and this is just how most of you have it set up. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, our our Node Express. It has. Uh huh. Okay, cool. Um, so here is our server side and how we set it up our uh, very simple um, database. And it's like um, an array with five instances of puppies. Um, and here we dealing with uh, re like interacting with the array and sending that to the front end. Okay, so so far so good. Um, I'm not going to go through how the front end works, um, but I think it's quite straightforward that once you click the button, you expect that to increase. Let's move on how to docker dockerize our front end and our uh, back end. Okay, um, it recognized that it has a lot of Docker files here. So my editor is being a bit, okay, cool. Let's see, so here, the, the different, we can see how a Docker file is being set up inside our Express app. Here, the most important thing to get from here is how this thing works. We, we, we have an image, which is our, which is, we're using the node here and that version. And you usually need to have a label of the person who needs, who built that image, who built that image. And you can contact if you start working on this. This is, uh, our app directory and we create an app directory and we map it with our host machine and the container. Then we copy, this is very important, to copy the package.json inside our container so we'll be able to install all the dependencies. So we need, later on we need to expose that port inside the container so we'll be able to load our page. Then this is a command, command it will run every time the container runs. The volume, we need that to map our files. Okay, enough with talking, maybe I should execute it. And yeah, let's go ahead and run this. One thing, once you create your Docker file, you need to first build it um, and then run it. I will go ahead, building it, it, may, it might take some time, but I will go ahead and run it. But first thing first, I will show you that we also have a, another container, which is our database Postgres. And it has these simple steps, how to configure a Docker file or a container for our database. We have a different, um, like inside the container, we're going to export 5432 for our database. And we're going to volume up the data. We also have a seed here, very s simple um, a seed that is, uh, when we're using SQL here, like plain SQL to insert the data in. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. So this is already run. So let's go ahead and run our app. Okay. Cool. Oh. 
Alrighty, it works. So if we increase, great. If we refresh, it's persistent. And you see here that the data are persistent because we have our database um, run in a different container. And I guess that's about it.